Hey everyone, this is my seventh video log in which I'm sharing how I turned an INIC app to a Shopify one. So let's get started. So today, uh, what I tried to do was uh, whatever changes I did to uh, my INIC 3 application, I tried to migrate them to another app and to check like how much effort it takes. So uh, the application was an INIC 5 application. So when I tried using uh, uh, to make the same changes to it, I have created a uh, installation page, uh, Shopify install page. Other than that, uh, I have created a provider the similar way, and uh, uh, moved this uh, say, uh, similar code snippet to the app component for uh, handling of authorization and initialization of the Shopify. Uh, so uh, these uh, these were quite a smooth efforts. The uh, blocker that I uh, I faced with was uh, using the Shopify token library. So when I tried to use that, it was uh, not compatible with the uh, Angular version. Uh, so I tried uh, making lots of changes to it, uh, finding solutions on internet, but couldn't get it done. So uh, I removed the library from the Anik 5 app and uh, replaced it with my own code. And for the verification part, HMAC verification, I used the Crypto ES library. Now, this is a really uh, very uh, good library to use and much well documented. So, uh, for HMAC, uh, Okay, here uh, I think uh, this guide uh, provides like how we can go for the HMAC verification. So, uh, okay, I think it, this is NPM's uh, page and uh, it, work, it may be working on the GitHub repository. So, he here how it can be done, like uh, we provide the message that would be the request parameters and the secret para uh, passphrase wins the secret key and we find uh, we get a hash and uh, okay now uh, once we get a hash uh, we need to use the hash dot to string method and convert it to uh, hex value now this is something uh, we need to compare with the HMAC value that we got into the parameters. So I've implemented this uh, code, uh, this custom code using this crypto ES library, and further uh, for other code as well, like uh, generating the permission URL and uh, permissions and other initialization code that I did with my custom methods. Okay, so uh, after doing this, the if 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 I show you the current version of application, so this is how it looks like. Uh, this is more of a, a desktop application turned into a web application. Now, if we install it, we are redirected to install page and. Again, we are back to the application where HMAC verification takes place and once the access token is there, we are uh, back to our application page. So this was all I was able to achieve today. And uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you.